Hi, I'm Greg Case and we're going to frost a cake now. This is the basic hot milk sponge cake and I'm going to show you some techniques of how to put it together so you get a nice professional finish. Uh, first, we're going to take our cake rounds and we're going to cut them in half. I highly recommend that you have a cake wheel. If you don't have a cake wheel, there are a few other things you can substitute. Anything that spins around like a Lazy Susan, you could take a piece of cardboard and put it on a bowl that's turned upside down. But if you don't have this spinning motion, you're really at a loss. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is with a serrated knife, you want to um, find the middle of the cake and uh, you're going to just score it all the way around. So this way you can kind of go slowly and uh, get a nice even cut on it. And then once you have come full circle, you're just going to take the knife and saw through the cake, following the line that you've made. Okay. So this cake is pretty durable. You can handle it and it won't crumble. Now I'm going to show you how to fill your cake so you um, can have a, a, a solid base to work from and, it, and your filling doesn't come oozing out the sides and cause you a lot of trouble when you're trying to frost it. Um, before we fill the cake though, we're going to moisten it with some simple syrup. The great thing about this cake is it's a sponge cake and uh, it will absorb moisture. And so that's an additional thing to give you a nice uh, texture to the cake. But also, this is an opportunity to add flavor to your cake. You can t make just a basic simple syrup, which has no flavor, um, but it makes the cake moist, or you can add other things to it. Uh, you can add some vanilla, you can add lemon juice, you can add orange juice, you can add um, any kind of liquor. Make sure you sample the liquor and make sure it's good before you use it though. Uh, bourbon, rum, rum cake, uh, framboise, fruit liquors are nice, um, and you can also use other fruit juices. Um, so. Uh, now, the French love to soak the cake. I'm an American baker, so I just like a little bit on the sponge. So you want to just brush it quickly. Okay, and you should also choose what's going to be your top and what's going to be your bottom. And the bottom, this is actually was the top of the cake, so I'm going to put that in the middle. The bottom has a little drier base, so that's going to be a, the bottom of the cake. So that one, you're only going to brush on one side. And the others you brush on both sides. So, the secret to keep your filling from oozing out is you're going to create a wall to hold it in. And the wall is constructed of your buttercream. So this is um, just a disposable pastry bag, but you can do the same thing by taking a Ziploc bag, putting the buttercream in, and cutting the end off. And you just want to pipe a border all the way around the edge. And that's going to keep our filling in. We're going to use the lemon curd. And you just want to bring that to the edge of the buttercream. And then you stack the next layer on top. And do the same thing. Uh, so now the best thing would be to chill the cake for about an hour so it has a chance for the buttercream to kind of seal the whole thing together, uh, the mortar and the brick. Um, and then it will be firm enough so that when you um, put the outside coating of frosting on, it, it won't shift around. And then you'll be ready to roll. So now that the cake is chilled, uh, it's, it's firm enough to work with, and we're going to frost it. Um, couple things before we get started. Uh, your cake should be well centered in the wheel or you're going to have problems with it if it's off centered. Um, and uh, if you have a straight edge, something like this is a bench scraper, uh, anything like this, uh, you can even like cut a piece of plastic or something, but something to make a straight edge so that you can hold at a 45 degree angle to your cake. And you will see why. Um, uh, so to begin, you just want to take a lot of your buttercream and pile it on top. You want enough to cover the top of the cake and push it over the sides. Okay, so you can start in the middle and push it out to the edge. Okay. 
and then like a waterfall, let it go over, <laughs> if it will. Uh, okay, and then <clears throat> you're going to need more from the bowl that you'll apply right to the side. Also push more off the top down to the sides. Okay, so it's still uh, uneven, but the way to smooth out the edges and bring it up to a crisp top, you take a straight edge. Build up a little a lip around the top of the cake. So you want to take your clean spatula, and you want to come down uh, from above down onto the uh, edge that's above the level of the cake, and just wipe it into the center. And clean your knife. So it looks a little um, thin on the edges here. I can see a little bit of the cake poking through, so I'm going to put a little more buttercream on top. It is a little challenging to get a crisp edge. All right, I'm going to smooth out the sides again. And then just level the top in. Okay, that's pretty good. So now that you have the perfectly frosted cake, you're ready to start decorating, and you can see some uh, techniques in the decorating video.